to them it's just like they build this shit and and then that's it. But to us it became greater than what they actually built. It represents the heart and soul of skateboarding in Montreal. And they couldn't understand that shit, so they just asshole us and fuck with us and cops and stuff like this. That's why we're bringing too much police because of the crack in the park. The most number one seller for us would have to be crack pipes. The hells and all the bikers that had the war and shit. So niggas would come down up in the block like take over Peace Park and run it. years ago this place became a ground of freedom of expression this is like a microcosm of a city in this little place and besides that it's still the red light district and it's the most dangerous thing but we have to survive it's because now political because the government is doing nothing. You know, and you got all these office people there making big salaries. Nobody's putting penny here into the people who are on the road. Nobody even coming and giving people hope, man. They're trying to get more taxes by building high-rise buildings. And of course, it's totally unacceptable because the federal government actually declared the Maine a national historic site in 1996. It's the shadow of corporate greed and power over the Peace Park. Uh, it is just this huge cultural war that is still ongoing. And that's um, something that needs to be looked at.